It had been a long and busy but absolutely incredible month of October. And after all of the wedding celebrations were over, Blair and I were very ready to pack the car and head off on a week-long road trip up to the Eastern Cape, a province that I actually haven't done all too much exploring in. After leaving Cape Town in the rain, we headed north towards sunnier skies, the landscape changing from lush green Fambos to the dry, arid and seemingly endless plains of the Karoo. Our trip had finally begun. Okay, we are now officially in. Big Five territory. So cool to see Big Five in uh, this kind of habitat. Mountainous backgrounds. Imagine seeing a buffalo and just like these big Karoo mountains in the background. I think we're going to get some great photos. Woo! Start of the honeymoon. Start of the mini moon. Mini moon. I got a feeling it's the moment my life's going to start. I got the We have been greeted by Tish and she has taken us to reception so we can fill in I'm sure what will be COVID forms and indemnities um, and then we are getting shown to our beautiful pot house. We are now officially in Big Five area so this conservancy is 12,000 hectares and yeah pretty much from here until our accommodation we could see the Big Five and other things at any point. Above the ceiling, higher than the stars, push through the sky. My heart is beating faster when I got you right by my side. I've got a feeling it's so cool coming to new places. Eh? Yeah, it's really beautiful. Savory plate, you go for the sweet treats. Usually I'd enjoy that deal, but this looks really good. After quickly checking in and being treated to a rather delicious and much needed high tea, we jumped in the open top safari vehicle and headed off far, far away from civilization to our pod house for the night. But before we get to that part, just a quick word from the sponsors of today's video, Squarespace. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform offering domains, websites, online stores, and a whole lot more. Squarespace has a selection of incredible award-winning ready-made templates that will suit everything from a travel blog to an online store. It requires absolutely no design knowledge or skill from you and is as simple as a click of a button. A feature that I love from Squarespace is the ability to get valuable insights into your site's analytics, allowing you to find out more about who is visiting your site and from where. One of the last features that I'd like to highlight is the fact that it works perfectly for those on the go, as you can install the mobile app for both Android and iPhone, allowing you to make changes whilst traveling or if you're away from your laptop. So if you are interested, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. 
And if you'd like to go ahead with creating your site with Squarespace, head to squarespace.com forward slash Nicole Eddy for 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Um, there's a zigzag road that runs up to the top. That's called the Great North Road. And that's the road that we'll be traveling on tomorrow afternoon heading up to the northern sector. Our reserve is about approximately 12,000 hectares divided into two sectors. 8,000 hectares, the northern side of it, which only consists of Plains Game, Buffalo and Cheetah. Our Cheetah project's on there. And then we've got the southern sector, which is 4,000 hectares, where we've got Big Five on it. Any link to the outside world is gone, apart from the Wi-Fi in the cabin. Welcome to Mount Kamdebu Private Game Reserve. Our guide has dropped us off and we are here for the night, staying in one of these beautiful pot houses that you can see behind me. It's incredibly windy outside, so we're going to go inside and I'm going to give you a short tour. It is so cozy inside here. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so as you walk in, you've got this bathroom area. It is all done with such taste. It looks incredible. It's really light inside, very Instagram worthy. And then if you come on through this way, and the way that they've used the space in, obviously it's a small space, but the way that, the way that they've utilized the space is really cool. And I'll show you how they've done that in a little bit. You've got a little cupboard area here with robes and some zippers and towels uh, and then little cupboard space here even loaded with some board games some um, little medical aid kit spotlight glasses i don't know what's in here Ooh, got some wine in here and snacks and some more cupboard space and then we get to the good bit so this is obviously the bedroom and the lounge and the kitchen all in one the view outside unfortunately it's got really hazy in the last 20 minutes the wind is absolutely pumping and i think all of the dust is kind of whirling around but it has incredible panorama views of the mountains in the background which i'm sure we'll be able to see later this evening This is actually, this is our dinner ready and waiting for later. This is something, it's called a warm bag or something. It keeps our dinner warm. Um, so whenever you're ready to eat, we kind of just take out all of the contents in there. Dessert is, however, already set up. So obviously considering that this is quite a small space, they've had to utilize the space in a clever way, which they have done. And underneath the bed is four massive drawers that extend. Some can be used for clothing, but in the one, this houses all of our pots, pans, washing up stuff and some cooking utensils. And this very neatly just slides back in and you'd never say it's there. You get to the kitchen area. There's a little stove over here, which we can apparently keep our dinner on. There's coffee stuff all up in here, a little sink, coffee, tea, rusks, a bar fridge, which houses some soft drinks, water, beers, etc. And that's about it. But yeah, just done so cleverly. A lot of windows, a lot of light, and we are looking very forward to relaxing and jumping in the hot tub a little bit later, as soon as this wind dies down. 
think these pod homes were built for people who traveled as much. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, you should see how much <laughs> how much baggage we have. We are camping after this, to be fair. We were trying to make the pod house look really neat for the for the tour, but this is what we're dealing with. Yeah, this is just. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, so nice and nice and. Mine doesn't even zip up. <laughs> yeah, that's something I'll never be able to do is pack light. So as you can probably tell from the uh, darkness behind me, the sun has set and it has been such a spectacular afternoon here at Mark Camdebu. This is actually the first time that Blair and I have been able to kind of chill and yeah, be away outside of home uh, since after our wedding. So it's kind of like a little uh, honeymoon, um, obviously doing some work while we're here as well. Some of you might remember that I said we we're going to Namibia. We are still going, however, Blair, unfortunately, his work's pretty hectic at the moment. Um, he can't afford to be without signal for too long and our Namibia trip is pretty much all without signal. That's what we're planning. So we have postponed that to beginning of next year. Um, and instead we've done a little week away where we still have phone signal on, he can still do work. It is still pretty windy outside, that hasn't deterred us. We have lit the lanterns, we've lit a little fire, we've got a bottle of vino, and we're gonna enjoy the last of the twilight before coming back inside and opening up this delicious dinner that we have been smelling all afternoon and enjoying it together.